Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you truly love this, enjoy the map. Let's send the Night King. Good. It's also dead. Even better. So, what do we have here? Other knives and all sorts of bullshit. Sassa Sasparilla, always a welcome sight. Nuka Cola, less so, but you know, I should probably. Not actually loot the Nuka Cola. It won't do me any good. I also forgot about all the purified water I have, which I can use for healing, I guess. So it's not a complete waste. Am I trying to find Night King by um, using pots? I just think that might actually work. Yeah, certainly they call it that. Alright then. Ooh. Yes. Oh, there you tool. You're a plunger. Plunging right into the gravel. Oh, so a locked door. Which I will not be able to lock. Big lock with the first attempt. Uh, as much as I would love to. How did they notice me? No, seriously, how did they notice me? I'm in a completely different section of the thingy. Probably. Alright, let's try that again. Looks like the place. So take everything that's important looking. Who's is not important looking enough. They're still cautious. And they still don't know what's giving away my location. And that's a cool. Cool. Look. I went for a pun and I couldn't survive that after match. That's what happens when you do bad puns, kids. You get killed. Good. Okay, science is good. Uh, let's go with lock picking and actually get it to 40 then. Oh no, we do that though. Hmm. Then let's put this one last point to sneak. That'll do. It's not perfect, but let's just start. I don't know what's in here. Send help. Recharge your pistol. Motherfucking breather. Nice. Uh, also, I do need to do something here. For repair and... I pretty much have two copies to the full repair now and... I just realized I won't be able to do anything with those. Oh, there you drop recruit helmet and... Oh, reading classes. No, don't drop those. Also, there should probably be something else I can get rid of as well. Maybe repair a RCW thingy. Got like plenty of those. Probably was slowing me down in the first place. We also have some... Throwing spears. You know what? Let's let's give them a try. If they're as completely useless as one would expect, I'll just discard them, I guess. Public kitchen. Hello, everyone. Please remember that the kitchen is a privilege and not a right. Please clean up after yourselves and remember that a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Please also remember that any food left in the icebox without a date will be thrown away every Friday evening, so date your food. 
Greetings fellow Repcon employees, I am happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Rocco. Starting tomorrow we will be on an official Rocco facility, most of you won't notice anything different, aside from an increase in benefits. Thank you all for your time and welcome again to the Rocco family. Cake. Cake. Cake, 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 cake. Are you kidding me? We've been planning Martin's party for months now and you forgot to order the cake, 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 cake. There is no way we are going to cake someplace to deliver cake out here on this cake of notice. Go to the cake room and find something for every cake to eat at the cake. Cake. Hmm, I suddenly have an interesting cake. Maybe I should go and get the cake. Summon. Hmm. Someone appears to be interested in my presents. But I didn't bring any presents. I'm not Santa Claus. I'm kidding, I brought death. That's a present to everyone. A present to everyone. So how many either winners are there here? First of all, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. It is a super it is it's super to be part of a company as exciting as Rock Cake. Have we got some kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday a bunch of grades got delivered here containing two gross of devices called stealth boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Rocco think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. Right, so access. Uh, Steve, please make sure your people are ready for the Rocco visit. We are down to negotiating on what the project is worth, so the better that the experiment goes tomorrow, the better for all of us. Sir, I have my team looking into what happened yesterday. I was assured by my best people that the experiment would go off without a hitch. We started the cleanup of the affected area today, but I'm told that it may take decades for the radiation to clear completely. Oh, joy. Just make sure that someone is punished for this. This has significantly reduced our position with Robco. I want them to know that we can keep our house in order. That's where our rumor is. Misty. I'm just gonna use up my spears, they're quite heavy. I was kind of expecting to be able to... Maybe I have a chance to get them back? And it's just not 100%. Or maybe the spears do implode on impact, which is possible completely. And that doesn't and makes complete and factual sense and is not completely nonsensical and full of shite. Yep. Why did I move? Alright, empty syringe, sure. Sounds good to me. Plunger, sure. Wait, no, that's scrap metal, never mind. I don't need that. I want a plunger. Plunger would have sounded good. There was a bow pin. I took it! Um. So, any particular reason this place was locked up? Probably not. Alright. Get your spear ready. Throw at the enemy as soon as you see the enemy. There is not much signs of the enemy. Still don't know where the middle stairs are supposed to be that are supposed to take. This looks like it may also provide a route. Whether or not it's somewhere I actually need to be is a completely different matter. But the path we have. I opened it lock. Do it. Do it. Now. Right then. Spear his face. Sorry. 
so I'm not entirely certain, but I think your face may have been speared to the wall. That's not bad. In fact, that's pretty nifty. Alright, this is going to be my office now. So, um... Margaret would be kind enough to bring my, me my tea. That would be... Bring me, 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 my, my, my tea, 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 tea. Just making fun of the fact that I can't actually speak English very well. Yay. But anyway. Alright, so the demonstration says... Room terminal, hi Steve, I've finished converting what you, that old generator room into storage as you requested. If you need to get access to, save, to the safe, the password is Repcon. Thanks, Bill. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, Steve. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised you were a devious worm when we started here all these years ago. I guess someone has to take the blame and it may as well be your old friend. That waste spill never would have happened if you didn't push the team so hard. Or if you had paid for actual competence personnel, I'd be happy to take my retirement package. Good riddance to you and this for second place. Oh, poop. Wait. But I can't open this one? Come on. That's a. Come on. I guess we'll need to look into other ways of getting that loot. Next level. I'm gonna level up my lock picking to a nice 50, so I won't have to complain about that anymore. Can I get you? My paper key. Not anymore. I really wanted that sneak attack, but it was not as easy to come by as I was hoping for. This corpse is about Brahmin. There are ghoul. Nightkin. But this situation is bonkerish. That's just a glowing one. It wasn't. What are you doing down there? Also, no, don't don't take for the torso. It's all about the Hedgemans and I mean Benjamins. You're just asleep, eh? Good. What are they plotting? I think one of them was pooping. That's the only option that makes sense to me. About why he was just sitting around like that. Did they just walked right past him then? Guess I must have. Alright, I was supposed to go upstairs to where the rockets were being built back in the day. When the day was still young and cookies were as proud a nation as cakes are today. And uh, neither party is an actual nation. Disclaimer, there goes whichever. Words are made and they are then spouted out of my mouth hole. Oh, I can't go in there. Well. All right, Smootskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Thank you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Where can I find Jason? The Great One can be found upstairs. 
Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. You should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. You don't seem all right. This should be safe here, Aaron, right? Where nothing can harm us. Even Jason will deliver us from the pain of this world. Not now, smooth skin. Why not now? Oh, well, I guess we have to fix the situation before Jason can deliver you from this world. You're a bright follower. Aren't you a bright follower, eh? But this is not the right room. At all. So I need to go that the other way. Are you chasing? No. Are you chasing? No. Your first aid box. Very similar looking there. Are you chasing? No. Are you chasing? No. Are you ch Oh, you're chasing. You very much are chasing. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Any more about these demons? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Uh, what's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. You say one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away? It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then? Silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? I'll take care of the demons for you. Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, Preparations for the great journey can resume. Misty, um. Hello? I don't speak with outsiders, smooth skins especially. Talk to our leader, Jason Bright. We still turn up things then. Hey? We have more things we can discuss, such as the spear in your head. It's a joke. Don't react too much. Is the way clear? 
I don't want to ask you about other things. What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Who are you? Who, 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 who? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Your last name is Bright. That's funny. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the great war, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. I am called the Courier. How will you make the journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. Alright. What is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Alright. Let me know when the underground has been rid of the demons. Sure thing, pal. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Alrighty then, then where's the prisoners? Who are the prisoners? Is it the barrels? Are the barrels the prisoners?